Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Today is August 29th, 2025. Only three weeks until it's officially autumn. Nevada's tourism and mining industry and residents have been trembling literally and figuratively ever since they had that magnitude 4.0 earthquake back on March 31st of this year. Valami, Nevada has been rocking and a rolling. Nevada ranks as the third most seismically active state in the U.S., so, tra so travelers should take notice. The swarm that's been ongoing there in Valami is only 200 miles southwest of Reno. This is an area they call the Midas Trough. It is a significant geological feature in the northern Nevada, part of the Basin and Range Province Extensional Tectonic um, Area. It is a structural depression or garbon like basin formed by normal faulting where the earth crust is being stretched and thin. The trough is named after the Minus Mine, which is up over right there, real close to where all these earthquakes are happening. This area too is closely associated with the Central Nevada Seismic Belt, CNSB, a 100 mile wide zone of active faults responsible for much of Nevada's seismicity. Vladimir, Nevada, in Eureka County, lies close to the proximity to the Midas Trough, making it relevant to the ongoing earthquake swarm in this region. USGS says there is a 25 to 30 percent chance of additional earthquakes of a magnitude 3 or larger. No major damage has been reported but the area includes active gold mines, Twin Creeks, which I have up over here, Turquoise Ridge, and many um, may induce minor quakes, Viva, because of their operations that's going on. The Minus Trough is located in Elko and Eureka counties, approximately 40 to 60 kilometers northeast of Valmy. It trends northeast to the southwest aligning with the CNSB fault network. Um, this recent earthquake swarm falls directly within the adjacent of the Midas trough boundaries. I tried to draw it out as best as I could uh, going from up over here to way off over here. Val Valami sits on the western edge of the CNSB near the Pleasant Valley area. The trough extends from near the Gretchel area, which is, <laughs> yeah, we got a fault that goes up through here. I mapped that out today for you. Yeah, we got the mine. It's named after the mine. Yeah, it's a, it's a big gold mine. Lots of minerals there. And it extends, let me bring this out, and they worry that these earthquakes could pressure on the Pleasant Valley Fault, which is... A little bit farther to the west and I tried to draw that out the best that I could back in 1954 along this fault zone there was a magnitude 6.9 right there December 16th of um, 1954 the Nevada Bureau of Mines and the USGS let me close this out says that this area here of the Midas trough is sediment filled, meaning that you get more vibrations, the earthquakes are stronger and more strongly felt. Yeah, um, the ground kind of like really turns to jello. The trough itself hosts gold and silver deposits. Yeah, a lot of them. And the Midas mine operating since 2002 is linked to fault controlled hydrothermal systems. Mining here, like at the nearby Valamy sites, can influence local stress, but it is secondary to tectonics, they say. I don't think so. I think there's more going on here within this Midas trough than what they're telling us. Or it could be induced by the mining. What do you think? Do you think the mines are causing these earthquakes? So why should people be concerned? 
while well, activity in the trough can propagate stress to the Pleasant Valley Fault, increasing swarm potential. While well, not the sole cause, they say, it is part of the fault system driving Valamy's seismicity. Unlike, uh, they're saying it's got nothing to do with the compression that's going on over here at the uh, uh, other fault, the uh, Gretchely Fault. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But it could induce an earthquake along this fault zone, which does run into the uh, Pleasant Valley Fault Zone down over here. So there is a hazard that people need to know about because these earthquakes in the Midas trough do pose a risk for larger events all the way up to a magnitude 7 or greater, especially with the ongoing extension that's happening. USGS models indicate moderate hazard near Valamy with the potential for ground shaking amplification because it's all fill within the trough's basin. And I thought it was interesting that USGS recommendations for a large earthquake, not only should you drop and hold on, but mining equipment adjacent, uh, adjacent to structures should be secured because vibrations from quakes or even operations can compound the minor um, yeah, shaking that happens there. Yeah, so, you know, you don't want things toppling over and falling down on you, or... Where's that? There it is. There's the mine. Yeah, you don't want people to to get hurt. And just like your home, you should secure your large bookcases, hot water heaters. Make sure you don't have anything above your bed that can fall on you during a large earthquake. Have a way to turn off uh, your gas and water if there is problems because this is all fill yeah even small earthquakes can do a lot of damage so that's all i have for you right now if you have any thoughts or comments there's a lot of earthquakes a lot of them that have been happening lately yeah just eight uh within the last 24 hours and then there was i believe five within um five hours so what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.